Okay, here we have a FM AM Deluxe Naroko. This was from an estate sale from a collector. Radio appears to be in really nice condition. Um, I put batteries in it and I have it powered up and turn the volume up here on it. That's an FM station. Um, batteries aren't real strong. It looks like they're getting dead. It's been sitting here for a while. Uh, everything seems to be functioning. I can't find no issues. Um, I think this would be a very good radio for a collector. Let's see here. I don't know exactly how everything on here works. But we'll try a few different things out real quick. I don't have a shortwave antenna outside, which I should, for all the radios I end up testing. I'm not sure what a good shortwave band is here. Well, anyhow, as you can see, the dial's turning. Uh, that, I guess, is the shortwave dowels there, and they're all turning. Uh, light works. Um, I don't know what some of these other buttons are. Up here is the top dowel for the FM. It as well is turning fine. We'll go back to FM. And... I don't know where the station was that I had. On okay. Rosh Hashanah. The sound of the shofar... Anyway, antennas are in good shape. Uh, I see one little ding right here in the chrome. You can probably see that on the picture. Uh, let me put this down. Antenna tips are there. Nothing's broke off. Um, doors working good that's working good here's all your different plugs on the back not sure what they all do not sure what they're all for um, it has that little battery door here which as you can see I just put batteries in which I'll take back out I keep them here the rechargeables um, I don't know what that little dowel thing there is at the bottom and has degrees on it. I guess that just has something to do with the uh, legs or something on it. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, take that sticker off of there. And uh, it's ready to go. There again, I think it'll be a good radio for a collector. Thanks for looking.